Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I want to say a big thank you for always coming out here to support us, to, uh, you know, patronize us and to hear all the latest news. God bless you. We sincerely and truly appreciate you. Today's one is quite interesting because in this country, it looks like there is double standard everywhere. You know, I'm saying that because uh, you know that... Um, Muslims are having Ramadan, and as a result, um, some elders in Kaduna has called on the governor of Kaduna State, the person of Aero 5, to please ease the lockdown. Other states, similar uh, call has been call, called on by the state governor to do so, but uh, they've not been um, listened to. But we'll see if uh, Aero 5 will listen to the elders. Anyway, let's go to the news and get all the details. Council of Imams begs Erufai to relax lockdown in Kaduna. Kaduna State Chapter of the Council of Imams has called for a gradual relaxation of the COVID-19 imposed lockdown in the state. Chairman of the Council, Shaki Ibrahim Nakaka, made the appeal in a statement on Sunday. The body has, however, commended the state governor Governor, Go Governor Aero 5 for his proactiveness in the prevention of the spread of coronavirus in the state. The council appreciated the good leadership quality exhibited by the governor, Aero 5, his deputy as well, who acted in his absence the entire time in the state when the, corona, when the, for, when the tax force for coronavirus was in enforced at the time Erufai was in isolation. This has brought more appreciation to the deputy governor who acted actively and took care of the state adequately. Kaduna State compared to its neighboring state where their state government failed to act immediately right from the onset of the pandemic has been much better with the um, whole issue of coronavirus as we have not had large number of cases like other states. Based on this success, the council is calling on the state government to begin to look at the possibility of gradual relaxation of the lockdown process in the state, but with strict conditions of using face masks and intensify grassroots sanitization of hand washing with soap and the use of hand sanitizers as recommended by the pe public health experts so as to prevent any possible local transmission. This, the council feels, will assist in, in elevating the suffering of the people of Kaduna State, while at the same time not jeopardizing the fight against the deadly coronavirus. The council is the option the council is of the option that when the free movement is restored in the state, the entering borders should still be kept closed until such a time when the state is safe from outside and cross border transmission. The council called on all Muslims to be more steadfast in prayer in the holy month of Ramadan to remove and to pray to God to remove the COVID nineteen and other amens and discomfort that is elevate, elevating the state at this point in time. They call on people to be consistent and to remain prayerful. Well, my people, you've heard it all. Kaduna State of um, Council of Imam has called on Erufai to please ease the lockdown on them, that this has not been going down well with the state, people of the state, as most of them has been suffering. Um, Erufai is the governor of Kaduna State, and one of the governors who uh, contracted coronavirus and then went into isolation but kept feeding the country on his progress regarding coronavirus. The governor did not keep it silent or keep it secret. However, he spoke and told the nation, the country, that he has contacted the deadly coronavirus. And he also told uh, this country how he was recovering and what was going on, and even those infected. Uh, Erufai is the governor of Kaduna State who has, you know, not really, really, truly and really 
guarded the people of Edo State in totality. What I mean by that, Christians and Muslims alike. Just recently, there was an outburst and outrage again in Kaduna State of, um, you know, um, the, the, the Southern Kaduna, an opera of killings, and all the government is saying they are not trying to look for those corporates and bring them to justice. They are just asking the people not to retaliate and to embrace peace. I don't understand what the embrace peace means. So they should fold their hands while they are being slaughtered and embrace the peace. In what sense? Well, that's Eru 5 for you, speaking politically. That's one governor as well who has the uh, presidency in view, who is looking forward to become either a president or a uh, vice president when Buhari is gone. These are all parts of the plans, and most times when you speak, Nigerian says it's being political with the truth, as he's not speaking the whole truth because he has um, politics and a uh, higher ambition at heart. Well, Nigerians, that's your Erufai, and the Council of Imam has come to him to say, in this month of Ramadan, the people of Kaduna State are suffering. As a result, we want to say, please um, assist them, first of all, in the elevation of the lockdown. He said that will go a long way to assist them as this will help them to, you know, be able to move about. But they just insisted on the interstate lockdown uh, so as to prevent trans, um, trans transfusion from state to state. Uh, but that within the state there should be movement, especially at this time of Ramadan. So the people of Kaduna State are not finding it funny and they are really suffering. Erufai has not responded yet to their appeal, but it's an appeal they have come together to make and to ask him to please elevate the um, lifting and lift up the, the ease, the, uh, the, the, the lockdown gradually so that the people can continue to live about their life peacefully, you know, go about their activities uh, without minding any of this, um, you know, uh, coronavirus and the rest. But that uh, they should insist on, uh, you know, social distancing and the rest, and um, uh, they should continue on uh, what is needful so as to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Aerofi contracted um, coronavirus. We don't know exactly where he contracted it from, uh, but he contracted coronavirus and um, he went into self-isolation and kept informing the country of what he was going through until the eventuality where he recovered. And when he recovered, it was a thing of joy for him and his family, you know, as he came out to also tell the nation that he has recovered. That is what the government of Nigeria should be doing, keeping the people informed, adequately informing the people rather than hiding behind the curtains and we don't know exactly what was happening. Remember the later Bakiari who died and because he, was, he contracted coronavirus and Sahara reporters were the first to report it, guess what? We later learned that the presidency has gone to issue, uh, gone to take a directive from the court to arrest and uh, the person of Showare uh, because he was the first to announce it. I don't know why there is so much secrecy in the presidency, no transparency. Yet APC said they are running a transparent government. I think it's a transparent government by mouth. And if you're not part of the uh, association, you don't get to know what is happening. But again, the, it's, it's, it's supposed to be a public knowledge. Why? Every other country make their people aware. By the time you make it a secret, that is when people talk about it. That's when you feel that they have done something that they shouldn't have done, you know. So it's, it's only normal, it's only right for the country to be able to know. And when he even died, we first of all heard um, the person of uh, Kemi saying that somebody from the presidency has die but it will give the federal government of nigeria the opportunity to be able to announce it themselves about 10 days later we got the announcement from the federal government saying abakiari has died but that of um, erufai it was not a secret he called it forth and he told the people he says see uh, this has happened uh he's is is coronavirus positive and um he's working he has handed over to the deputy governor why he's in isolation, you know, so which is a good, which is a good thing. You see, that's a good thing. So Nigerians, now the matter be this, the council of um, imam have asked that he should please ease the lockdown and let um, the people be aware that, um, 
they can move around but they should um, adhere to all the instructions and the guideline so my people now waiting they happen be this so now waiting they exactly they happen be this erofi has been called upon to ease the lockdown so that people of kaduna will not suffer because they say it is the month of ramadan and then they want the people to be able to move about and then be able to you know go about their daily activity so what do you think about their request don't forget to like to share to subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless and bye for now